Lisinopril, Patient Safety Advice. Pregnancy. Pregnant women and females with reproductive potential are advised not to take lisinopril. Lisinopril can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. It may cause reduction in fetal renal function and increases fetal and neonatal morbidity and death. Patients are advised to discontinue lisinopril as soon as pregnancy is detected. Angioedema. Angioedema has been observed in 0.1% of the patients during treatment with lisinopril. Lisinopril should be discontinued immediately if any signs and symptoms of angioedema are observed, swelling of face, extremities, eyes, lips, tongue, difficulty in swallowing or breathing, abdominal pain. Patients are advised to consult physician immediately and take suitable treatment of angioedema. Patients taking concomitant mTOR inhibitor, such as tamsarolimus, sirolimus, everolimus, may be at increased risk for angioedema. Patients with a history of angioedema unrelated to lisinopril therapy may be at increased risk of angioedema while receiving lisinopril. Lisinopril has been associated with a higher rate of angioedema in black than in non-black patients. Lactation. Women are advised not to breastfeed during treatment with lisinopril. Hypotension, low blood pressure. Excessive hypotension is rare in patients taking lisinopril alone. Patients are informed to report lightheadedness, feeling of faintness or dizziness, during the first few days of therapy. If temporary loss of consciousness occurs, patient is advised to discontinue the drug after consulting with physician. Excessive perspiration, dehydration, Vomiting or diarrhea may lead to an excessive fall in blood pressure because of reduction in fluid volume. Following patients are at higher risk of excessive hypotension. Heart failure with systolic blood pressure below 100 mm of mercury, ischemic heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, low sodium level in blood, high dose of diuretic, renal dialysis, aortic stenosis, narrowing of the aortic valve opening, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, heart muscle becomes abnormally thick severe volume and or salt depletion. In patients with above conditions, lisinopril should be started under very close medical supervision. A temporary hypotension is not a contraindication to further doses of lisinopril which usually can be given without difficulty once the blood pressure has stabilized. If symptomatic hypotension develops, a dose reduction or discontinuation of lisinopril or concomitant diuretic may be necessary. Hyperkalemia, increase in serum potassium level, Lisinopril can cause hyperkalemia in about 2% of the patients. Patients are advised not to use salt substitutes containing potassium without consulting their physician. Serum potassium level should be monitored periodically in patients receiving lisinopril. Patients with following conditions are at high risk of hyperkalemia. Renal insufficiency, diabetes mellitus, concomitant use of potassium-sparing diuretics, potassium supplements or potassium-containing salt substitutes, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar level. Diabetic patients treated with oral antidiabetic agents or insulin are informed to monitor for hypoglycemia closely, especially during the first month of combined use with lisinopril, leukopenia, neutropenia, low leukocyte and neutrophil counts. Patients are informed to report immediately any signs of infection such as sore throat or fever as it may be associated with leukopenia or neutropenia. Patients with connective tissue disorder and renal disease are advised for periodic monitoring of white blood cells. Anaphylactoid reactions during dialysis. In rare patients receiving lisinopril, sudden and potentially life-threatening anaphylactoid reactions have occurred, who were dialyzed with high-flux membranes. In such a situation, Dialysis must be stopped immediately, and aggressive therapy for anaphylactoid reactions must be initiated. Different type of dialysis membrane or a different class of antihypertensive agent should be used in such patients. Impaired renal function. Monitor renal function periodically in patients under the treatment with lisinopril. Changes in renal function in a susceptible patient may be caused by lisinopril. If renal dysfunction develops during treatment with lisinopril, Serum creatinine concentration exceeding 3 mg per deciliter or a doubling from the pretreatment value, then the physician should consider withdrawal of lisinopril. Following patients are at high risk for developing acute renal failure with lisinopril. Renal artery stenosis, narrowing of one of the renal arteries, chronic kidney disease, severe congestive heart failure, postmyocardial infarction, volume depletion. Evaluation of patients with hypertension, heart failure 
or myocardial infarction should always include assessment of renal function. Hepatic failure. Patients receiving lisinopril who develop jaundice or marked elevations of hepatic enzymes should discontinue lisinopril and receive appropriate medical treatment. Cough. Persistent non-productive cough has been reported with all ACE inhibitors including lisinopril. It almost resolves after discontinuation of therapy. Contraindications. Lisinopril is contraindicated in the following patients. Hypersensitive to lisinopril, history of angioedema related to previous treatment with any ACE inhibitor, for example captopril, ramipril. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.